Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is font outline. Font outline was something added to UMG fonts in version 4.14, so you'll need at least 4.14 in order to access it. And we access it in the appearance section of the UMG widget that is going to use a font under appearance and it will be under the font section under the font material is an outline settings option and the outline settings option allows us to set up an outline and it's pretty simple you define the size so in this time it's in units so if you notice our little block there is increasing as it makes the font with the way it works and i'll show you exactly how it works here when we get to the bottom section the larger numbers are going to have issues, so you probably don't want a huge font outline, you know, a, a certain number. You can obviously test it in real time, but something 10, 15 tends to work fairly well to give you a nice outline. Now we're going to skip over material for a second. We're going to go to the color, and this is pretty simple. It's the color of the outline. Works just like any RGB color. We slap it in there, and we get a color. So in this case, you know, if I want a green, I could go with something like that, or we can open up our color picker, grab an appropriate color, and there's our outline. Now these other options here, separate fill alpha and outline material. Let's cover separate, separate, separate fill alpha first. When we check this, well, you're going to notice you don't really see a difference. Basically what this does is rather than having the outline be a solid item behind your text, because that's actually what it is. When we click this, it's just going to have the outline be an outline. Seems a little confusing, but it's pretty easy to show. Here's my alpha of the actual text itself. You can see the text going white. First of all, let's disable our outline. We'll show you what our alpha does. You know, our alpha is our alpha. It makes things transparent. So let's drop this down to about 0.5. And let's turn our outline back on to 15 and you'll see something. As I adjust the alpha, well, it pretty much disappears. If we drop our alpha down to zero on the text and we play with our outline, you can actually see what's happening. When it does the outline, it just basically makes a copy of your text and then makes it bigger basically behind it. So in this case, you can see this is what our outline actually is. It's behind our text, then our text is on top of it. Now with the separate fill, separate, separate, Let's go separate. Fill alpha does is if we check it, you'll notice our text in the background, this inside part or text, not the outline, but the text itself is now, instead of being the solid outline behind it, it is actually using the appropriate alpha. If this was one, okay, everything looks good. But if this was 0.3, where we actually have alpha inside of our text with the separate option on, you can see the difference. Basically, with this disabled by default, our outline is going to be behind it. If we check it, it's basically going to hollow out our outline. So our outline is technically now an actual outline. It's not just going to be something behind it. You can see the difference there. So that explains how the outline works. It basically puts another copy of your text behind it with different sizes. And also what the separate fill alpha does. Font material. Font material is pretty simple. It is basically just like a normal material for your user interface, except it applies only to the outline itself. So if we go down here to this one, uh, let's go to this one right here. We can find that I'm actually using a gradient for the outline. I can actually apply a gradient as well to the text inside. They are completely separate. If we get rid of the gradient, you'll see it's solid red. I grab this back here again. I grab our gradient and I apply it and now we see the gradient. Now just like the normal UI material, the outline material has two different uh, UV coordinate spaces, 0 and 1. If we were to open up our material here, this is the way it's set up by default with coordinate 0. 0 applies the texture that we're applying this material effect to the entire thing so you'll see it going from black to white top to bottom everything as a whole 
However, if we look at this one, you'll notice something slightly different. You'll notice all of these letters are actually all together in one piece, and they're not really blending well. Well, they're not blending because I'm using UV1. If we open this one up and we look at it, same thing, but we have a coordinate of 1. Coordinate 1 means do it per item. So if we go back to here, you'll notice this T, the outline, this fade effect gradient is on the item itself, black to red. And then the next one, black to red. Next letter, black to red. So it's individual per letter. So that is what 1 is and 0 is the entire thing. But you'll notice you kind of run into an issue here where it now basically separates everything into individual letters. So you can see here, it's not too much of an issue if we don't have overlap, but using UV1, note you're going to kind of get this weird overlapping effect because it's drawing everything separately rather than one in group. Now there is something to note here. If I was to take my UV1 and plug in a color like this, here's a green color in here, and I go ahead and go back, you won't notice an issue. It's going to pretty much ignore the outline color here and it's not really going to work. So you need to keep that in mind because this outline has its own color setting that is applied after the material. You really don't want to plug in a color. You plug in a color, you're going to end up with an issue like this. So if you do run into an issue, just go ahead and have your material for your font be a simple black and white with no color changes to it. Just do your effect or whatever you want and leave the color changes inside of the actual font settings here. And that's it. Those are going to cover our outline options. We have the size, the material if you wish to use one, the color for the outline, and then separate or separate fill alpha, which basically means either the background is going to be part of the alpha. I guess the easiest way of doing this is if you have this unchecked by default, the alpha of the font doesn't matter. If you have this checked, it's going to use the alpha of the font. That's probably the easiest way to, to understand how that works. And that's it.